everyone. It's great to meet everyone in front of the TV. Um, I'm based in Canada, Toronto. And uh, today we are going to talk about a little story about the Guanyin, which the Guanyin Bodhisattva, Guanyin Pusa, is a very famous in greater Chinese area. And uh, if you ask your mother, who is a Guanyin Pusa, I'm sure every single one of them will tell you Guan Yin Pusa represents the great compassion, which is the, the core virtue of the Bodhisattva. And because this great compassion, then we can develop a, a Bodhicitta. And the, having the Bodhicitta and the, finally all ascension beings can enlighten the Buddhahood. So today we are going to choose a story about the Guan Yin Pusa. And we know the Guan Yin Pusa have so many a form of the body. It can re it can reborn and show in a very elderly sick lady. It also can be appear as a very young little girl. It also can be a young beautiful woman. And today we choose this story which we in Chinese we say Yu Lan Guan Yin. In English is fish basic Guan Yin Pusa. This story is back to the Tang Dynasty. In a small village, in that village, there is no one has believed in Buddhism at all. They don't know what the three jewels, which is the Buddha, Dhamma, and the Sangha. And one day in this small village, there is one lady, very beautiful young lady. She walked into this village, and so many of the young men in that village, they hardly can find a, such a beautiful young girl appear in front of them. So they were so impressed and, and attractive by this young lady. And they keep asking her, what's your name, young lady? And every single of the young men want to propose her and want to marry with this young lady. And the lady say, my name is very simple. You see, I'm carrying a basket. The basket inside is full with all the fishes. And my name is Yu Lan. So the older young man said, Oh, please marry me, Yu Lan. I really want to marry you. And then the Yu Lan Guan Yin said, Okay, I'm only one woman. How can I marry with you? Uh, over 100 people, the young man in your small village. And the suddenly the young lady, Yu Lan, she said, Okay, now I'm going to give you a test. If any one of you can memorize in one night is a Puman Pi, then I can marry you right away the following day. And on the second day of the morning, wow, all the village of the young men is unbelievable. There's over 20 of the young men can memorize the Puman Pi at one single night. And all of them propose to the Yuan Guan Yin. The Guan Yin say, no, I cannot marry any one of you because you still more than one. How can I marry to all of you? And then she continues to say, okay, let me give you another exam. If any one of you can memorize the Jin Gang Jin in one single night, which Jin Gang Jin is a part of the um, Da Bo Re Jin, Pramita Sutra, is it longer than Puman Ping, of course. And then she said, okay, at this point, maybe not, maybe only one young man can memorize the Jin Gang Jin. Then, you know, everyone, all the men was so happy back to home. And then they start to memorize the Jin Gang Jin. And on the second day of the morning, oh, okay, it's still more than one young man. They still have 10 men, young men, come to the Yudan Guan Yin and say, can you please to marry me? Because I already memorized the Jin Gang Jin as you request us to do. Then Yudan Guan Yin say, okay, no way, no way. I cannot marry 10 of you. I cannot. I'm going to give you one more, most difficult test and then you guys can try to see how you can memorize this sutra or not. And then she say, Ten of you, the young men, please go back home, try to memorize the Lotus Sutra. In Chinese, we say it's a 
Hua Jing. Pa Hua Jing consider is one of the long sutra during the Buddha 42 years of giving the Dharma talk in India. Also, and all the, the ten young men say, okay, if I can memorize the, the, the Jin Gang Jin, I am sure I can finally still complete my mission, which I can memorize the Fa Hua Jin. So the ten young men back home, in the one single night, they were focused and very concentrated. And they remember only one man, his name is Ma Lang. His name is Ma. And because he is very handsome looking, so everyone call him in the town, say his name is Ma Lang. Ma Lang, finally, he is only one person memorized this Fa Hua Jing. And uh, of course, uh, Yulan Guan finally knocking her head, so, okay, you are the one, I'm going to marry you. On the following day, the Malang was so excited, he prepared all the ceremony, get the marriage ceremony with all the most luxury, most fancy, to inviting all the young men, all the people, all the relatives in the town to attend his wedding on the following day. But unfortunately, one thing happened is because the Yunnan Guan Yin, you know, as we say, she had a very attractive face, very generous compassion. On the day, she married with the Ma Lang. But unfortunately, the Ma Lang discovered she suddenly died inside of her his house. So that's why she was, he was so shocked. He finally win the three exams. He can memorize the Puman Pi, he can memorize the Jin Gang Jin, he can memorize the Fa Hua Jin, but he still cannot win the Yulang Guan Yin to, to have a happy life with him. So he was so depressed, but on the same night, Yulang Guan Yin's body, even though she was so beautiful when she was alive, um, immediately she died, her body becomes so smell bad, become dark. Then the, the, all the family member of the Malang say, oh, please, please, please take her dead body out of the house. And the Malang cannot reject all the family members' request. And he was so sad because he just got married with this young lady he has been fighting for. And on that day, he still you know, try to keep her dead body outside the house and doesn't want to bury her yet. So on the following day, in the very early morning, Malang wasn't able to sleep at all for whole night. And he was awake, sitting next to the Yudang Guan Yin's dead body with a very sorrow, sad mood. And uh, he started in here his house, someone knocked in the door. Ko, 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 ko. Mom said, okay, in this early morning, why someone knocked in the door? And he feel, okay, maybe I should check who is this person. He was so sad and he was so sorrow, he opened the door. He suddenly, he saw this is a monk. So he, Ma Lang suddenly feel very released. They said, okay, please come in. in. And Ma Lang told this monk, say, okay, I just married with this young lady. He traveled, he tried all the best to win all the exam. You know, he win this woman on the final round. But uh, unfortunately, the per impermanence happened. The Guan Yin, the Yulang Guan Yin was uh, passed away, but no one, was known, she was a Guan Yin at the time. So the monk hear this Ma Lang story, and after he finished hearing the Ma Lang story, the monk was laughing. He said, ha, 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 you don't understand. This Yuan Guan Yin, she's not ordinary lady. She's not ordinary woman at all. She was a Guan Yin Pusa. She appeared in the form of the human body. 
he, she was coming to this town to make all you guys, the young men in the town, believe in the Buddhism, to respect Buddha, Dhamma, and the Sangha. So the Malang suddenly realized, okay, he realized the woman was not a regular, ordinary woman. She was a Guan Yin Pusa's reform of the human body. So she decided to not to, you know, live as an ordinary man's life. He not going to marry with another woman. He decided to follow this monk life. He want to become a monk. So he continued to study all the Buddhist sutra. He realized what his life is called impermanence. Nothing is permanent. So he decided to follow the monk to, to path, to study the Buddhism, and finally he also become a monk. So all these little towns and young men, all the village, the people, all senior, young men or women, realize this young lady, her name was Yulan, is not an ordinary girl. She was a Guan Yin Pusa's representative. So all that small towns, village, citizen, all of them, they believe, they change their behavior, no longer to fish the fish, they become no killing, they believe in Buddha, they believe in Dhamma, in believing in Sangha. So that's how of we have been heard very firm, famous story about Guan Yin Pusa in Chinese history. And this is we call the Yu Lan Guan Yin. Today, we are just first briefly to tell you the interesting story about Guan Yin Pusa. And on the next day, a following section, we are going to talk about more Guan Yin Pusa, how the Guan Yin Pusa has been in a different form of the body to help the sixth realm of sentient being. As you know, in Buddhist term, under the Buddha's teaching, we have the lowest realm is a sentient being in the hell, the sentient being hungry ghost, the sentient being animal, and of course you know, we are born in a human. And above, we have an angry deity, and also we have angel deities. So we, in Buddhist term, we say this is six realms of, uh, recon, you know, to be reborn if we don't reach our enlightenment of Buddhahood. So today we are going to end in a story here, and uh, we hoping to see you on the next day and the next section. Thank you very much for your cooperation, and I hope to see you soon. Amitabha.